Hey, you know black folks, and basically I've owned a garage and before, and everybody had does, and then there's a, usually if you have a male-female relationship, it can be anybody for anything, uh, but usually I came from a traditional, I was married at one time, and it was always the argument about who brushed what up against what in the garage, and then as you see the meatball go along here, you end up seeing what stays behind, and then everybody says, well, it's clear, you can see through it. Really? Can you see through that? Okay. And as you see the from behind on the trail, and then you can kind of see who they brushed the, uh, whether they opened the car door up in the garage and they hit the beer cooler or the other vehicle or whatever, a motorcycle or whatever you got parked in the garage or junk, uh, whatever, the meatball seems to be pushing whatever is out of the way in the garage in space just any confined quarters you know you could even limit it down to something in the closet you know somebody goes to put another jacket in the closet or a dress or a shirt or a pair of pants or and anyway this is not a pair of pants so the meatball basically I would say we gotta wait and look at the footage and digest whether this is the same planet down there that we have run into knowing that's down there it has an atmosphere that does the same kind of reaction that we've seen other planets like IE that when I go smaller and as I can point here I'm only at 400 percent right now and then you can see how huge that some of the luminosity of some of the objects that are between the meatball and the SOHO satellite camera images scanner because basically no matter what the technicalities of what NASA will try to blow up your skirt or up your pants of trying to tell you how they actually get the pictures or not this is your picture of what's actually out there scientific data and what we'll do first is we'll get, since we got it pumped up we'll pump in a little bit more real fast we'll just go 999 and then we'll move over and get a good idea of what is getting scraped up against. It's like if you got an ice scraper and you're outside scraping ice off of the sidewalk right now. Uh, either that or it's just electrical static because the meatball always travels in the orbit that it's been in in the past and if then anything falls out on the roadway, it's roadkill. So, and it's all electrical. That's not flames you're seeing. So... There's definitely some bumping and grinding going on up in space. So, that's not Earth, because let's go ahead up here and don't ever worry about this. I don't. Big Brother's always in here. They don't call it Windows for nothing. Windows. Scatter. So anyway, we got the meatball rolling along, and then up here we'll see Earth, because you'll see Earth is pretty much right out of view, and it might barely come into view at the very end, but I really kind of doubt it. I think it's just completely out of view, but you'll see the electrical of our luminosity. If I can get it to slow down, it's basically, I think I'm better off just staying at this speed, though. You see our, us giving a flare off of our you see how this is there and then it disappears? You see now how it gets black? And it's just kind of like a big arc right there and it goes out. So that's where Earth is up there and then I'll basically I'll pop down real fast. We'll go to 400. You'll get an idea that Earth's up there. You'll also see some static electrical. This we got the CMEs coming off and you can, you can pretty much see there as we get down on a smaller size that you can see the flare of Earth up here. Remember, Earth's real tiny, okay? I'll go to B real fast, and we'll get a shot of that. Now, there's the meatball moving away. Staying in tight to, like I said, we're, but this is good news for everybody, because the idea that that means that the next orbit that it comes around, it's staying tight to Venus, okay? So, there's nothing wrong. Earth has still got its place. Uh, it's basically, we got a gopher hole, a uh, rabbit hole, in space that we are just very lucky to be in because Earth is pretty much, as you can see a little bit better, the electrical activity going between the Sun and Earth and Earth is up here 
behind the border where my cursor's at and you can keep on seeing it flaring and that's what I was blown in on. Okay, so we're fine and up here high and dry away from the meatball and the meatball is tight as I said it came around Venus's magnetical didn't really mess with the magnetical of Venus. There's probably a pretty damn good distance between Venus and that meatball and then meatball is scraping car door to car door on whatever we've seen right there doing that action so and then you can see all the huge action from the sun which is under one IU to earth which is over here and as you can see uh, there's some static electrical going on out there in space as you can see and that's pretty much from earth to uh, the sun static electrical that's going on there that's not coming in from what we've seen in massive sizes from way the heck out in space at 360 degrees of anyway so uh, yes this is in the solar system ladies and gentlemen it's in the solar system it's actually closer than Venus to the sun okay so because that's its orbit it came over here you've been watching the videos and it's moved along here like that so let's go over to stereo B and take a look okay we're not at B yet uh, to save a lot of time I don't edit too much so here we are because I got the 25th so we'll see what we can get from action from the 25th see what we've got going on uh, and then we get Venus doing that which you know so it's getting to be very actual factual probable now it depends on what kind of electrical action that we get but we've seen these flares off Venus and Jupiter before and so forth and so on and it's not a camera flare because no matter what it's electrical energy so it's not camera flare so that is a good uh, basically capturing of electrical energy static electrical energy that's why it's picked up statically on these image transformations and basically that's the energy of Venus that it is magnetically connected to IE you can't miss it it's always there okay and then its rotation which it rotates clockwise not counterclockwise okay and since I've always been telling you that I'm starting to wonder what NASA or whatever is trying to pull off could we see a pole reversal of Venus? Or are they trying to play with it? So we are going ahead in the clock. Venus does rotate clockwise. Earth and everything else in the solar system that we know of, the major planets, we've always been told by NASA that we rotate. And as you can see, you get a big butterfly effect of Earth's magnetical here. As you see us, see the electrical, it's a basically a big butterfly of Earth that's our plasma out there okay our plasma connection to the Sun and you can see it from a long ways away because this is earth up here in the center of this bubble up here safe and away from the meatball but as you can see that this meatball is rubbing up underneath the lower portion remember earth is small earth is like basically just figure that it's like a, a node and if I get over to B real fast you'll understand what I'm saying What's getting to be interesting here is the rotation of Venus because Venus is supposed to be clockwise. And I'm wondering if the NASA is playing with the footage on us or what they're doing because as you can see, we see some sort of action that's starting to promote a counterclockwise. So is Venus got a variable, variable rotation? No, I don't really believe so. Uh, could it get reversed by this coming around and reversing its magnetical on Venus? Possible. Could it do that to Earth? Highly impossible. Probable. Everything's in the realm of probability. Okay. So we're going to have to study. I'm going to have to start looking at some of the old footage on watching Venus on its rotation and figure out if we see Venus rotating. counterclockwise or clockwise and you see it with your own eyes so interesting so here we go we're over at B and we see Earth let's glue in on that rotation and see if we get the player plane right here first and that's Earth right there so let's take a look at Earth on its rotation 
Now, I'm going to make another video, and you're going to have to pay attention to what's going on here to realize what's going on at the cameras at the Canadian French telescopes over in Hawaii. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is electric flash action from your sun and quite possibly the supergiants and magnetical action that's going on off, out there in space, okay? Is that wild or what? Because we've seen CMEs before, but there is an electrical punch. Because if you've ever seen a transformer blow up before or a uh, substation arcing, there you go. And that is Earth and the sun getting it on. There you go. Spark, spark. This is actual space porn right here because that is electrical. And then also basically uh, watching embryos grow in a, uh, yes, brand new modern uh, Petri dish. Yeah, watching basically a sperm and an egg get it going on and basically starting the first breath of life. So basically there's a lot of high, high drama politics going on and your propaganda machines are putting it on TV. So uh, everybody is using every psychological and actual factual because it's actual uh, when you, someone's showing you footage of a uh, embryo and a egg developing in a petri dish in a modern machine on yes and then they the female's sitting there and her eyes light up and, you, and she can basically take the best developed egg and put it in her system so yes and that's basically straight up what I observed today on the boob tube and it's actually scientific fact there's a little bit of scientific fact on that boob tube every once in a while and it's basically propaganda to get people mad at each other so pick your poisons so here we go uh, this is space, porn, actual scientific electrical magnification, and this is actual pictures from outer space, and the Earth is really letting, uh, or is the sun really letting Earth have it? So let's get that rotation on. Okay, now Earth is doing counterclockwise, like it should be, okay? If you watch here, now I'm not trying to brainwash you, you see what you see too, but I see Earth going counterclockwise the way it's supposed to be, okay? Now, could the sun impulse it to do something different? That's uh, something that always would be probable. If the phase on the sun would change, the electrical phase on the sun, then uh, that is possible that it could influence the Earth to rotate the other direction. It's quite possible. Do we see it happening? No, you do not. Earth is rotating in the counterclockwise direction. Okay, We're rotating east. Remember, it's over here, Earth is, that that's Earth way back here, basically doing that big old butterfly action that you're seeing there of en electrical energy that's right here, and down here also on top of the meatball. Sorry about the frame thing, but see that there action? That's how much of a spread of magnetical connection out here to this connection to the sun of all this electrical energy. Okay, now let's, we're going to be able to you go ahead and play with the player and reverse it to see what's going on with Venus. And remember, we're seeing their clock go forward, so... If I take it, step it backwards, that draws it back into the sun. Now, you watch Venus to see if we go in a, we're trying to figure out what, what rotation, and I'm going to stop and, and study this. Now, no matter what, our meatball has magnetical pull, because Venus, as I blow in here, basically is going its clockwise motion that it's supposed to. As it's going clockwise like this, it's going around and then it's electrical is getting pulled this way. There is electrical energy that's getting pulled this way. Because this is, I got this in forward, as you can see that as everything's coming off of the sun here, and you see the luminosity of the atmosphere and the combination of the electrical static that Venus has, and Venus rotates clockwise, not counterclockwise like everything else in space does. And this is actually moving clockwise, okay? It's actually rotating just like this, like a clock, okay? It's rotating around like this. This is getting electrical pull down here, the cowboy is. And either that or we have basically... Now, we've seen this happen from Venus, Jupiter, and a lot of planets, okay? Now, also, this is quite comparable to what some of the volcanoes do off of some of the moons of certain planets, and so forth and so on. Could there be a volcano on Venus? Damn straight. But also, at the same time, it's electrical energy that we see getting pulled down this way because no matter what, Venus rotates clockwise, okay? Rotates just like this. And as you can see, we're getting shadow action and everything. That's
So no matter what, our cowboy has electrical pull to it, but a lot less than the sun. 